it's Gav reporting live from his art studio in the attic as you can see the beams are behind me I've got to watch I don't bash myself on the head because I normally do when I'm doing these things because I get so into what I'm doing I forget about the low beams right what I'm going to show you today is to how to use oil pastels and to create a feeling of movement with a musician the musician in this uh, this instance is a sax player and I want to create the vibrancy of the music and the the image and the, the colours all in the one picture. And for this I'm going to use um, the De La Rowney Murano paper. It's got a quite good range here of colours and it's got a really nice tooth on it that you can put your oils onto, your oil pastels. You need a surface with a tooth which means a texture otherwise it won't pick up on the pigments that are in the pastels. The pastels I'm going to use today, mainly this demo is going to be using the Neo Pastel, which is a fabulous range of colours, as you can see there. I'll be using them to create my image, but um, as well as that I'm going to use the Sennelia Oil Pastels because they are a little bit deeper and richer, so for some of the deeper richer colours I shall be using the Sennelia on the imagery where I want the colours to be a bit stronger and uh, deeper. Okie dokie. So, to start with, you've got to get prepared for all of this. So, what we'll do, what I, what I did at the first step that I did, I found myself an image on the net. There's my image. The image wasn't like this actually. What I did with this is I, um, I, I got a picture from the net and I well, obviously, I googled uh, saxophones and things like that, and I've got quite a lot of images coming up. And I found one that was pretty okay, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. So, what I did is I fiddled around with it uh, on the computer, and I added other things to it, like a uh, different saxophone and all this business. And and uh, and you can see the result there. I'm going to try and get this result now as an image on my paper using the oil pastels. What you've got to be careful with when you're getting images from the computer, of course, is uh, copyright. But if you're not going to use it as a commercial basis, which I am not, I'm letting you all have a look at it for note. Um, and obviously I've, I've messed around with the image that much, it's absolutely nothing like the original regardless. So, so I should be okay with that. And the next thing I did, I did a sketch of the idea what I wanted it to look like roughly for the composition side of it. So there's the little sketch that I did. Can you see? So the guys, I wanted is I did a multiple image of the same guy as if he's rocking to and fro playing his saxophone. And I superimposed one on top of the other on top of the other. And there I got the, the sketch. Then I did a practice. Now with pastel papers you get such a range of colours that you can work from. And I wasn't really too happy with the red background on this one. So I'm going to do a larger one on... Uh, it's a grey colour, it's actually called Coal, the colour, from the Murano paper range. So I shall start on this. What I did first of all is, is I drew out my image from this, not from, not from the actual thing there. I did it from my little sketch because I quite like the sketch arrangement. So I drew that sketch using a pencil onto the paper. And then from that what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it out with a lighter colour so it's clearer to you and then after that I'm going to dive in with the oil pastels and hopefully we shall get a good result. Thank you for the next stage we're going to get ready. <laughs> Sorry I've been blocking it with my bonds. Have to move over slightly darling. So that's basically it. Any of the fine detail stuff, I'll put that on later on. Uh, I've got, I think I'll position the fingers. And again, nothing detail. It's just it's to create the feeling of movement like his, his fingers are zipping up and down on whatever they call the things that they have on a saxophone.
and there you have the basic start for it. Now I can dive in with my pastels. Do not be frightened of breaking the pastels. If you break the pastels you can get more variation of line, you can get more variation of width for shading and it just you can hold it in a different position as well. So as opposed to holding it like a pencil you hold it very loosely. Right so I'm going to go from dark to light colours. So I'll start off with the darkest which will be like a deep, I've got, I've got three references here, I've got my drawing that I showed you in the previous demo, I've got the practice and I've got the um, original what I put together on the computer. So I'll put all those references there so I can skip to and from one to the other and get my perfect balance hopefully of the image that I want. So I'm going to go with the darkest fair to dark browns. Keep singing them say 